no corrupt politician will win presidential election. Olumba, Olumba, Obo. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. As campaigns for next year's general election hot up, a renowned spiritual leader, Olumba Olumba Obu of the Brotherhood of the Crossing Star, has said it will no longer be business as usual in Nigeria. The spokesman of a spiritual leader, Edith Akibong, read Obu's statement on his behalf at a press briefing in Calabar. Olumba Obu maintained that corrupt politicians will no longer win elections in the country. Obu said, One thing is certain. No corrupt politician will be close to the presidential staff of office. Only those with the fear of God, pure in their hearts, and of a humble spirit will win. The God-fearing leader will emerge and lead in the fear of God and humility. Corrupt leaders will only waste their time in this election as the door has been shut against them. The forthcoming 2023 election will be very crucial to the world will be very crucial to the world as well as for Nigeria as a nation. The Brotherhood leader again called on Nigerians to return to a first national anthem which promotes unity and downplays tribalism and sentimentalism. He also emphasized that a country should revert to Calabar as its capital, as well as return to the tough administrative structure which has been preordained by God Almighty. According to him, the 2023 general election will produce the most shocking development in Nigeria. The religious leader said many will be taken aback by the 23 election because something that has never happened in the history of Nigeria will happen and it will shake the so-called powerful politicians of Nigeria. He called for unity and caution against fear, saying Nigerians should not allow elections to stir up conflicts among them. He assured that the Holy Spirit is already in charge of the next year's election because at the end it shall be in tandem with God's will. He further maintained that the forthcoming 23 2023 election is not going to be business as usual, neither will it be about the usual electionary practices. The pleas will malpractices, practices, vote buying, corruption, and vegan. He also maintained that only competent and incorrupt candidates will win the presidential election. He urged leaders of a country to work in synergy, ensuring that the election runs smoothly and fairly devoid of electoral malpractices. He called on leaders to drive tribal sentiment and work in unison as Nigeria belongs to all. Nigeria is not only for the majority tribes, it is also for the minority tribes. No one can, no one should and can claim sole ownership of Nigeria as Nigeria belongs to God Almighty. Nigeria will soon be the center. For, Nigeria will soon be the center for world peace, and when that time eventually comes. She will be an example for the whole world. She will be seen as an epitome for all nations of the world to copy from. Now I am, look, you know what I love about men or women of God that come out and give their own opinion? I so love them. They are able to remove that God set. Oh, it is sweet me for everybody because it means they know that apart from being, you know, men of God, evangelists, prophetess, prophets, you know, all those things, the priests, you know, a pastor, they know that they're citizens of this country and can air the opinion. They have 100% rights to give their two cents, to give their own views about issues, political or non-political. All right, and I am so much in love with this piece because all he's saying here is what I've been talking about. Except for the fact that he's saying that um, they should move the capital of the country back to Calabar. Ah. Oh, Baba, I'm not sure it's going to be possible or should go. I don't know how possible that would be, but if <laughs> I don't know, Sha, I don't know, but it was once in the south, it has gone to the north, and now they wanted to go back to the south. Well, it's not a bad idea, Sha, but I do not know whether it is going to be done anytime soon. That is not even the bone of contention here. But you see, others where he mentioned that, you know. Where he mentioned that, um, uh, what's it called? Where he called on uh, the leaders of this country to ensure that elections are free, you understand? I so much love that part. And he said that um, the part where he said, let me quote him, so I don't misquote him. He called for unity and cautioned against fear, saying Nigerians should not allow elections to stir up conflicts among them. This is what I've been saying. 
it is see it is all right it is definitely okay another as in your friend your twin if you have a twin your twin or one of a triplet wants to put another person allow the person the election would they do and i keep saying do not allow uh, this election happens once in four years right not allow waiting they happen once in four years. This is what I've been talking about for a very long time. You know, you're in a family. All you need to do is to tell your children, tell your words, tell your relatives, tell your friends. Tell them that, look, it is okay to support that person. But just make sure, just make sure in supporting whomever you're supporting, that that person is the most competent. You understand? That that person is the most competent. So we should not allow this election period to find, because at the end of the day, I know what are they find, saying that better Nigeria for all of us. I'm very intentional about Nigerian being better for all of us because I've said it before. Not be everybody get dual citizenship. You get some people who say, for this Niger, if things go out of hand, God forbid, do God forbid. But if it eventually happens, God forbid. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people who, they, they have they have place to jack out to. They have dual citizenship. They can easily just, they just go there. Me and you, when no say, we don't get another place. Make We make sure, say, we do it in. We make sure, say, this country will make it better. And how do we do that? With the first step is by voting for the competent person to rule over us. We give the competent person a mandate to have the mantle of leadership, you know, come 2023. So we should not allow it. Last, last, in Nigeria, what I want, and I want to believe that the Western majority of want. Now, Nigeria really better for all of us. I've said it before. If Nigeria is okay, uh -uh, everybody will be like king. Hmm? Everybody will be eating like king. Nobody will need to come to anybody's house and say, come and be my servant. Imagine make, make our country day okay. Make we share day okay. Share. You will not have, you know, you want to do many job. You want to do serve people to be because you want to. Not because you don't have a choice. Not because you don't have a choice. Or oh, make you not pray for smooth election. Or why are you asking the popular to adhere to his fairness? As the Holy Spirit is in charge, let her prevent, let Okay, let it prevent conflict among the supporters by changing their minds from calumny. He spoke well, but he seems to not show sure for revelations. May God bless you, Father Oobo. He is not. He did not say this is revelation, Sha. I did not see where he said this is revelation. I think he's just giving his own two cents. Okay. Uh, my own is at the end of the day. Let us we. It starts from us. The majority of the work. They start from picking a good leader. The first step to that is stuff. It is from picking a good leader. Then secondly, you know, electing into elective position, good leaders as well. And we being patriotic citizens. So right on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And